Today in court on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. They hire a photographer to take family photos. But these were not picture perfect. They were distorted and stretched. Arms are cut off. Blurred out. Nothing could please them. Today on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. For 10 years, she was America's toughest and most successful prosecutor. Now, she has her own court, and she's the judge. The cases are real. The decisions are binding. And justice will be swift. Sir, I don't care who says what. I'm going to find the truth. Court starts now on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. Holly and Ryan Heidel say they hire a professional photographer to take family photos. And they claim the photos ended up being blurry, distorted, badly cropped. They want a full refund of $190. Now, for the defense, the photographer, Nicole Cook, says the photos she took of the Heidel family are absolutely perfect. She claims she gave them great service, but they are customers you just can't please. First of all, do all parties agree to be bound by my ruling today, sir? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? I do. Okay. What happened, Holly? Uh, we had set up an appointment to get our pictures taken. We had just had uh, our third child. He was six weeks old, so we set up an appointment for um, November 29th to get our pictures taken. And when we arrived to her studio, she was not there. Apparently, she had had a surgery the day before, so we understood that she was tired. When she arrived, she had forgotten the keys to her studio, so she had somebody bring them up, so more waiting. And then um, once we got into the studio, we started, you know, she started posing us or showing us where we should stand. Um, she had forgotten the memory stick for her camera, so somebody then had to bring up the memory stick. It's just by that point, my kids were starting to melt down. Yeah, yeah, they're five, four, and six months now. Well, so. I mean, they're only gonna stay happy and clean for just a very for brief very window, especially right. three of them. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Hey, let's see the photos while, while she's talking. My problem is not with the photos themselves on the computer. They look fabulous. When we got the printed pictures, they were distorted and stretched. Oh, dear. On here, our arms are cut off. We're kind of, we're, we're sliced yeah. off. When you saw the computer photo, was your arm cut off? Because part of his head's cut off, too. Right. Yeah. And, and, and that's like, a weird their heads thing. Are stretched I, I crop photos all the time. I never cut my children's heads off. Right. What's wrong with this one <clears throat> in your mind? Again, parts of it are cut off. I, see, I can see that. Evan, that's my oldest son with the glasses on. His back is just kind of blurred out of the picture. His face is also not as sharp as the others. Mm -hmm. No. Right. Okay, go ahead. And, and our order was not complete either to where I could get them for Christmas, Christmas you know, for um, gifts. And she agreed to not cash the check. I asked her on the phone, please don't cash the check until we can get this fixed. She agreed to that. And she went ahead and cashed a check um, on December 24th. So now we're in the situation where we have paid for pictures that are poor quality and we don't have our order fulfilled. Okay, let's hear your side. I, I, I sent her an email one day asking that we, we need to get this resolved. Um, I, I ref, you know, it's kind of ridiculous to go to court for $190. I realize that, but it's the principle of it. Um, she owns a business, she calls herself a professional photographer. I expect her to be professional. If the customer's not happy, do what it takes to make them happy. She refuses to, refuses to fix them. Let's hear your side, ma'am. I did have surgery. Um, I believe it was a few days prior to our shoot. I was late to it. I apologized to the Heidels, you know, conversated with them, let them know I was going to waive the sitting fees for them because of the inconvenience, and I was going to throw in the 10 holiday greeting cards free of charge just for their inconvenience. Then she asked me not to cash the check, and I told her, as a business owner, you know, I have to cash the check, make sure everything processes through the bank, make sure the checks aren't going to bounce, you know, you did just receive all of my work. They were wanting me to give them a full refund of the $190 to fix two of the images. I told them that the two images I would replace for them at no charge to them. Then Mr. Heidel was on the phone in the background yelling, you know, um, saying, <clears throat> I couldn't really understand everything he was saying. I know he was being very aggressive, very loud, and I could barely understand what Ms. Heidel was saying due to the fact that he was in the background yelling over, you know, the photos and me cashing the check. Did you tell her you would not cash your check? 
I did not say that, no. You still haven't even completed the order. Because Mr. Heidel was very hostile on the phone, and I'm not going to put myself in a possible hostile situation. Okay, now, why is the drape not above their head? The drape I just used to kind of block out some. I always go through at the end of my photo sessions and use Photoshop. I go through and spend you know, a great amount of time, at least 30 minutes going through and cleaning up the whole background. I use it to kind of blend the background with when I'm doing Photoshop. That way the colors are similar and I can go through and clean everything up. Okay. What happened to their feet? I wanted to zoom more into the children and the shoes. I didn't really like the positioning of where the shoes were, so that's why I kind of cropped them out a little bit. That way they weren't, you know, a focus. Now we know. Go ahead. So I let them know that I would be glad, you know, to make everything right with them. Nothing could please them. Coming up, our A-list photographer. And I've been photographing for magazines, celebrities, and private individuals, and I constantly am shooting. How'd you get that horse to do that? Um, we shook a Tic Tac box and, and said prayers. Heidel versus Cook. The plaintiffs claim a photographer ruined family photos and seek a $190 refund. The defendant says she did her Photoshop best, and this couple is impossible to please. Let me go to Starla Fortunato, please. I'm here, Nancy. Hi. Hi. You're Starla Fortunato, but what's the name of your studio? Um, it's a Star Images Photography. I'm, I'm based in Hollywood. I've been a professional photographer for 10 years. And I've been photographing for magazines, celebrities, and private individuals. And I constantly am shooting. How'd you so. get that horse to do that? Um, we shook a Tic Tac box and, and said prayers. <laughs> because our ears have to be up. It was, a, it, was, it was a perfect moment. We shot about six shots to get that. Go ahead. Well, after oh. examining the photos, um, like this is the original photo. And she relies on Photoshop, which is very normal for photographers to do to cut her um, subjects out and put them in any backdrop she wants. But I think where the quality failed, number one was the lighting of the image. I was not pleased with the lighting that I saw. And number two, I was not pleased with the way the um, subjects were cut out of the photo and reintroduced to a white backdrop. I felt it was very fuzzy and it was a little sloppy. The composition, however, is lovely. And just when want you, to say that. When you Photoshop, do things get fuzzy, or is that the quality of the photo to start with? Photoshop's a technique you use by hand. She cut, she cut and pasted them onto a white backdrop, but she also added more brightness to the image to draw away from the cutting that she did to pull them off that white backdrop. And so you lost more... detail in the face. Okay. I don't understand why the... Um, the defendant didn't just open up the photo because it, it's clearly cropped. I don't believe that that head was cut off of that baby in the first place. I don't know why was she didn't go back. Was the head cut off in the first place? I don't remember. Because I would have to look well, at it. Whether I it do was crop, or it though. wasn't, it's cut off now. It's my professional opinion that the um, client should not have paid for these photos and should have been offered a reshoot. Thank you very much. What, what I don't understand is why you have not, to this day, months later, delivered the product that they paid for. Whether you agreed to cash the check or not cash the check, you owe her the full $190 and also another $200 to pursue another photographer. Case closed.